months ago when we had a little preview. Our buyers are like, oh, those are from Barbara King. This is Barbara King. Hi, everybody. I, was like, I just saw Barbara last week. I'm like, when are those sand sphere sculptures coming? Oh my gosh, they are incredible. Oh, Let me just tell you, you, two sizes to choose from. These are illuminated sandstone spheres, but look at them. Can we just stare at that? They look like big dahlia spheres, don't they? They look like petals of a flower. These are indoor, outdoor. This is the larger one, which is going to measure 13, 12, 12, 12 inches. inches. 12 inches, thank you. The smaller is nine inches. And it's not a choice of clear illumination or color morphing, you get both from each one. So if I don't want it to be color morphing, I can just do glow, tell me everything. Okay. I'm about ready to explode. So <laughs> isn't these. this, the, the texture in this is so deep. The color is so brilliant. This is sandstone. So we poured sandstone, which is a combination of sand and pebbles, and it is all natural material. And that is why it is so gorgeous. We poured it into a mold to create these petals. I'm calling these the dahlias. Yes. Because they really do look like a dahlia look at that, flower. You guys. And when you have something like this in your garden, <gasps> this is art that is in the garden art. that you just get to enjoy in whatever color morphing you like. But as I was telling you earlier, we shopped the flea markets in France and we saw this sculpture in an antique piece. And I said, let's try to make something like this wow. for the QVC customers. We were awesome. amazed awesome. at the detail that we were able to get in our molds and each petal look at really those. gives you a <gasps> detailed look. How about that morphing color? So, I mean, that's what I love here. And, and it's funny, Barbara and I were both saying, n normally we wouldn't, you know, gravitate towards the color morph, but the morphing is so slow, it almost gives an ombre effect through each of these spheres. These are indoor, outdoor. I was telling Barbara, I want one of the nine inch for indoors, and then I want the larger ones for outdoors. Oh, and I don't even know what idea. I'm gonna do with them yet. Am I gonna put them on my patio table? Am I gonna put them in planters? Am I gonna nestle them in the flower beds? Look at the, look what you get from these. They're so interesting. And they're not what you see everywhere. In fact, no. I, had, I mean, for as long as I've worked at QVC and have loved being part of patio and garden events, I've never seen anything like oh, it. Thank you so much. We were so thrilled to finally get this here. It took uh, over a year in the making. There's no cords with this. We put a timer in so you can pick your color if you want the morphing colors or if you want the clear. No matter what size you get, they will both have that. Then when you turn it on, it'll stay on for six hours. So you turn that on at whatever time oh, you want it to come on at night. Great. That looks like a moon glowing is, there in your garden. That. Look at the texture. And the one thing I'd love to do, guys, is have you come back to me with the lights up full, because I always think it's important when it comes to things that glow for you to see what it looks like when it's not glowing. So that when you see by daytime what this is gonna look like in your garden, it actually looks like a true sand sculpture. It really but does. Is, it's heavy. It's not going to blow away. It's weighty. And, and, and when the lights are up now, I hope we can get the cameras in like on a super micro tight shot because there is an actual like kind of subtle sand-like texture to this, Barbara. Everyone wants to touch it and everyone asks me, is Look. this limestone? Is it marble? What is the material? Look. It has that shimmer yeah, to it. it we has, were able cool? to take natural material, pour it into a mold oh and gosh. give you an unbelievable sculpture for your garden that's great in any type of weather. It's weather resistant. Yep. The timer is on the back. So wherever you switch it to either color morphing yep. or to the clear color, It'll stay on for six hours, and you, and you could put this wherever you want in the garden. I loved it in two urns at the front door. Yes. That was a really fun look, but just scattering them in your garden is so much fun to have sculpture with your flowers. I mean, they, they can look beachy, I think. That's what I was telling Barbara. I might use these down at the shore. Oh, um, yeah. I, I use this interior design. You can nestle these in bookcases. You can put them on a console table, put it on a beautiful, large, even charger plate 
and surround it by succulents if you wanted oh, to. Oh, I love I mean, your ideas. You, you could put them around your pool. How about steps going up to maybe one deck to another or the steps up to your front house? Philip Watson and I were talking and he said, I'm going to do my big, huge containers of sun patients and then nestle one of these on each side by the front door. That's cool. I mean, they're just, they're so interesting. The texture is so unique. Again, the smaller size is nine inches and that is $34. Remember, use your cue card and then they go on three easy payments. The 12 inch sphere is $46, but don't wait on that larger size. Um, that one is going very quickly. They're it's, loving that. They're, but let me just tell you, statement. nine inches is still a nice big size. It's huge. It's not bitty. I put them into my urns at my front door and also along the deck, I have a part that doesn't have railing and it really designates don't fall off this area here. Mm. It can set a path. You can use this as ambient light Great. to guide the way towards your front door or in the backyard. And the color morphing is not that blinking kind of light. No. It fades into it like an ombre color. And I find people just stopping and staring at stare them at like they're mesmerized, like staring at a fish tank because it goes from hues of lavender into green. Then you'll see shades of pink, but you still see the detail in that petal. And that's what customers are loving because this is the sculpture that we see in really fine gardens. We wanted to give that to the customer here. With this detail, we're just thrilled with how this came out. There are very few items that are designed for outdoor use that are pretty and elegant and appropriate enough to use indoors too. Luminara lanterns would be one. This incredible sandstone sphere is another. You won't have ever seen anything like it. I think it's a great gift item. It's something different. Just get one home and try it. You're gonna be disappointed that you didn't order two, I can tell you that. <laughs> yes. um, but I, I think when you see them in person and you see how beautiful they are, even when they're not even illuminated, Barbara, even if they didn't glow, I love the look of this for I home know. decor or outside living. And if you want that larger 12 inch size, it's last call. There's fewer than 200 to go around. Um, in that large size that's 12 inches in diameter. Three C batteries are what you need. Yep, they're going to stay six on. Inch time, or six, six inch, six hour timer, yep. right? Um, indoor, outdoor, they can be rained on, no problem. Just enjoy them. I will be posting pictures of them at my house because oh, I just think, like I said, we have a lot of great items for your home for the patio and garden season. This was my favorite, mm. my favorite. David Venable, <laughs> my favorite item of the season. <laughs> and the 12 inch is now gone, and we brought in 2,700 for the season, guys. There's only 900 left, and this is the more affordable one. Me, this one's sold out. Oh, at $34, <laughs> um, give it a try. Give it a try, give it a try. I can't wait to do mine. Oh, I can't wait Yay! to see yours. I can't wait, thank, thank you, you, Barbara. Um, listen, more great things coming your way in this patio and garden with David and Jill. Well, we are putting David to work, aren't we? We made him do the power washing, we made him use the spade, you know and now he's like? gonna do it's some like weeding. It's like Saturday morning queue when Kirsten makes me do all the cleaning. Hey, but you know what? I'm all about the solutions if they're made easier. Yes. And this is easier because you know what? Anytime you've got weeds growing between pavers and um, maybe your sidewalk, the driveway and the edge of the grass, any of those areas where you feel like it's impossible to get down there mm -hmm. and get to the root, quite literally, the root of the exactly. problem. Exactly. We're gonna show you how easy it is. This is Japanese technology and we call this Nisaku, is Nisaku, that correct? Nisaku, correct. Nisaku, the stainless steel heavy duty weed removal kit. This is brand new today. It is three pieces in total. You're getting two of the handheld weeders mm -hmm. and you're getting one of the Weed Cutter Pros. Weed Cutter Pro, that's All right. right. We had this on earlier today, Nancy Brad Mueller. Yes. Nancy is one of our gardening specialists and outdoor specialists. And I will tell you, over 900 already ordered today. Awesome. So a lot of people excited about this. Show us how it works. Okay, so, you know, we were talking about how you've got those weeds. That is a gardener's worst enemy. Right. And you just don't want to see those weeds. And sometimes they're in places that are really hard to get out. So you know those weeds that just kind of spread out on top of your grass and you go to pull them out and all you end up with are the leaves. You want to be able to get in there and you want to be able to 
get out the roots. So that's how you do it with this serrated edge that is made out of precision stainless steel with really fantastic edges to it. That's going to allow you to get in there and to be able to get those weeds out, including the roots. 